Although you can add a reference to a class library using a DLL file, as you did in Lesson 1-2, you would have to rebuild the class library and replace the DLL file every time you made changes to it. If you add a class library project to the same solution as your target project, you can make changes to the class library much more easily. To begin this lesson, first close any Visual Studio windows that are currently open, and open the Textland project from your Sample Files folder. You're now going to add the Encryption Library project to this solution. To do this, click File, Add, Existing Project. Now navigate to your Sample Files folder and open the Encryption Library folder. Now open the Encryption Library subfolder, click encryptionlibrary.csproj and click Open. The Encryption Library project is added to this solution. You can now easily edit both projects at the same time. As mentioned in Session 1 of the Essential Skills course, a .sln solution file can contain multiple .csproj project files. Now build the Encryption Library project. To do this, right-click Encryption Library in the Solution Explorer, and click Build from the shortcut menu. You need to build the project before you can add a reference to it. You're now going to add a reference to the Encryption Library project in the Textland project. Right-click Textland in the Solution Explorer, and click Add Reference from the shortcut menu. Now click the Projects tab, if it isn't selected already, and you can see the Encryption Library project listed here. Click Encryption Library, and click OK. The classes from the Encryption Library project will now be available in the Textland project. Because you referenced the project directly, instead of using a DLL file, you can be confident that the Textland project will always use the latest code from the Encryption Library project. Now let's try using the Encryption Library project's methods in the Textland project. Open the code behind file of encryption.aspx and remove all code from the button encrypt click event handler. Now add the following code in its place. String string encryption key equals text box encryption key dot text dot pad write thirty two byte encryption key equals encoding dot utf eight dot get bytes string encryption key. This code retrieves the encryption key from the page. Now add the following code on the next line. String encrypted string equals encryption library dot encryption functions dot encrypt string text box encryption dot text encryption key initialization vector. This code calls the encrypt string method from the class library. You can access any of the class library's functions within the Textland project as though it were part of the same project. Now add the following code on the next line. Textbox encryption dot text 
equals encrypted string. The text in the text box encryption control can now be encrypted with much less code than was needed previously. Now let's test the project. View encryption.aspx in your web browser. And click Encrypt. The text is encrypted using your class library without any problems. Close your web browser now. And close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 4-5. Add a class library to a project.